This is one of the biggest partnerships between cryptocurrency and traditional finance. One in four banks globally use SWIFT. SWIFT averages 45 million daily financial messages, which allows trillions of dollars to safely transfer between banks daily. And SWIFT has just partnered with Chainlink. And if you're not familiar with any of this, you probably want to know what is Chainlink, what is SWIFT, what does this partnership mean, and what all this means for the Chainlink token, all this and more in today's video. Now to me, this seems like a very good thing for crypto adoption, especially if you are investing in cryptocurrency, creating the framework for large financial institutions to safely access crypto might fuel the next bull run. But at the moment, this is still in the proof of concept stage. We are working on an initial proof of concept together with Swift. So we're gonna have to wait and see where it goes from here. But before we jump into anything else, I'm just some guy on the internet. This is not financial advice, just educational material of what's going out there in the crypto finance world. Now for full disclosure, I am invested in Chainlink, but that doesn't mean you should too. So be aware of that. So Swift is a cooperative, is an international cooperative. Uh, we run perhaps the biggest network in financial services today for capital markets, for payments, for effects, for trade. It's a system that banks use to securely send messages to each other, so banks within the network can make secure, automated payments to each other. I'm gonna steal a lot of graphics from CNBC's video on this, so if you like it, uh, help me out by hitting that like button, so technically, you like their video as well, but we can stay on this channel because uh, because uh, we're here and I also do make videos. All right, so digging into the details, Swift was established in 1973, so they've been around for almost 50 years now. Here's a picture of flags. Swift connects over 11,000 banks in over 200 countries, and through Swift, trillions of dollars are moved daily. And Swift is just a messaging platform between banks. So this is how banks can communicate securely. Think of it as an exclusive group chat that only contains banks. So if you need to transfer money between two banks in two different countries, you would get your bank account number and the unique Swift code of your bank and you would provide that to the person that needs to send you the payment, or if you need to send them money, you need their bank account number and their bank's SWIFT number. SWIFT sends the messages between the banks, the bank authenticates the request, then processes the transaction. If the bank doesn't have a direct relationship through SWIFT, then they have to go through intermediary banks. Essentially, all of this just means SWIFT helps banks make secure, automated payments with each other. What is Chainlink? Now their main product has been data oracles where you could get market and data feeds and bring that into the blockchain world. And they also have a verifiable tamper-proof random number generator. So you could use these for lotteries that are true lotteries that can't be manipulated. Then you have automation for smart contracts, proof of reserve, cross-chain communication. So blockchains can talk to each other. Now, one of the newest developments with Chainlink has been their CCIP. That's the Cross-Chain Interoperability Protocol, the new standard of interoperability and token bridging for all blockchains. So instead of a protocol or bank trying to support multiple blockchains and onboarding each individual blockchain, you can go through Chainlink CCIP, which will connect you to every blockchain and every blockchain created in the future. Basically outsourcing interoperability, future-proofing it while also maintaining a high level of security. So let's take a quick look at the Chainlink ecosystem. And if we kind of add everything up, there are over 1,000 dApps that are currently using Chainlink services. And if you use Chainlink services, you have to pay in the Chainlink token. Now, as a regular user, you don't need the Chainlink token. It doesn't really provide you much service. I mean, it will in the future when they integrate staking. That's not available to everyone at the moment, but it is in the works. But for developers, anyone that wants to use Chainlink services, you have to pay using the Chainlink token. 
and Chainlink is in the Oracle space. So if we kind of search by category, we can see the top oracles by market cap. And there is a $4.3 billion market cap. And there is a $3.5 billion market cap for Chainlink. And that's specifically just for data oracles. And then everything else is a competitor. They have the majority of the market cap. Now, again, simply data oracles, they take information that happens on the internet, something that happens not on a blockchain, and they bring it to the blockchain. So for example, let's say you're betting on a basketball game and you bet in a decentralized app, who's gonna win that game? That dApp is gonna need that information. So they would turn to Chainlink and say, hey, get me the results for the basketball game. Once we have the results, we are gonna determine the winner and through Chainlink's automation, we are gonna provide the winner those funds. That's what Chainlink is doing. It is integrating the blockchain world with the real world. So you can have unlimited possibilities when integrating real world data into the blockchain. This video was sponsored by Walkin. They are a move to earn app. I did a detailed video on them and I will do another one in the near future. Basically, you can earn cryptocurrency for moving and it costs nothing to get started. It's free to play. There are more freemium features, but if you want to earn just a little bit of cryptocurrency passively, all you have to do is download the app and to earn cryptocurrency in the game, your in-game avatar challenges other people based on your stats and steps. To get started, check out the links in the description. Now, let's talk about the Swift and Chainlink partnership because the partnership is currently in its proof of concept stage. So we don't exactly know how the financial relationship will work when it comes to the Chainlink token. Are they going to get that involved? What are they going to charge? Are they going to cut them a deal? Because this is how it normally works. If you want to use any of Chainlink services, you have to pay for those services using the Chainlink token. And at this time, we don't know if Chainlink is gonna see any of those 45 million daily financial messages and what Chainlink will charge to secure those messages. But this is the door opening to global crypto access with Chainlink facilitating interoperability with any existing blockchain and any blockchain to be created in the future. This makes it a lot easier for more financial institutions to get involved without having to manage, onboard, and secure blockchains individually, just making it easier to stay up to date. And yeah, it's just a simple solution. And since we already see SWIFT moving money between banks, we could potentially see the movement of cryptocurrency between banks too. And I know you can already do that instantly with a blockchain through your own crypto wallet, but there are a lot of people that aren't that tech savvy and they would be more comfortable moving cryptocurrency through a familiar platform, through a trusted service like a bank. So think of your grandparents. How difficult do you think it would actually be to teach your grandparents how to use a crypto wallet versus a bank, their actual bank account, and just moving one asset to another account. So think about it that way. Not everybody is tech savvy. Not everybody trusts cryptocurrency, and we still need these services to bridge global crypto adoption. But this is not the first proof of concept test that Swift has had with Chainlink. They also work together on a bond issuance and redemption program. Swift and Chainlink worked together on the first POC that we did on bond issuance and redemption. I'm gonna guess it was quite successful. It was quite successful. And when you are looking at the traditional finance and crypto space, Swift and Chainlink aren't the only partnerships out there. So there is some competition and let's take a look. This is an article about Quant. Now for the quick summary, Quant stands out for its focus on the financial service industry. Quant has become a vocal supporter of CBDCs and is starting to lay out its vision of how it can help central banks connect their digital currencies with the rest of the modern financial system. So pretty similar to the Swift and Chainlink partnership. And then you also have JP Morgan and Visa teaming up. Visa's B2B Connect is a similar network to Link that was built for institutional grade use and now has been integrated with Onyx's system. And what is Onyx? Onyx has pioneered the world's first bank-led blockchain platform for the exchange of value, information, and digital assets. 
So JP Morgan and Visa have teamed up to also build in the blockchain space and Quant is another competitor. Now we can go into a deep dive on those in another video. Just let me know if you wanna see that in the comments. So there are competitors in the space and they could all be winners or losers depending on if it's a bear market or a bull market. And if you think about CCIP, it is interoperability for all blockchains and all blockchains that may exist in the future, which is pretty awesome. That is just a service that is being provided. There are competitors in the space, but with Chainlink being one of the leaders, with Swift being one of the leaders in traditional finance, if this goes well, this could bring on more partnership, more trust, more adoption. That's just what I think. Don't consider that financial advice, but that's what I see with all these different headlines and things happening with the cryptocurrency adoption. So even though we're in a bear market, things could turn out really well in the future. So if this video has been helpful, feel free to hit that like button, check out Walkin, links in the description, as well as the video right here. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today. And that, that was maybe the, uh, the first steps of this sort of love story between Swift and Chainlink, yeah, which continues today.